Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Redream, which is a Dreamcast emulator for your PC, so you can play Dreamcast games on your PC. So the first thing you're going to want to do to get started is you're going to scroll down to the description of this video and you're going to click on the link to download the emulator. Once you're on the site, you're going to go ahead and click on Download Redream. You may have to sign up to the site to do so. I did when I originally did this. And now we're done with our internet tab. So here's the zip file we just downloaded. We're going to open that up and we're going to click and drag this exe into a new folder. Now we can drag that file that we downloaded, that exe, into our new folder. I called my folder Redream, and you can go ahead and click the exe. You should get a little installer that pops up. I don't get the installer because I have a previous install of this on my computer. It's really simple. You can pretty much just click on through it. Just be sure you check Portable when it asks, be sure there's a check next to it. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna show Redream where our library is. And our library contains all our ROMs or games for Dreamcast. So you can go to click on go to library, add directory, and then go ahead and find the folder where all your games are on your PC. And once you're in that folder, you can go ahead and click on the top thing right here, which is add folder, and there's all your games. So we can click on one of these images and I'll boot the game. But before doing that, turn on your Xbox controller or whatever type of controller you're using, and it should auto-map the keys for you, so you shouldn't have to map out your keys. If you do, all you have to do is go to Input, which is on the top right here. Then you're going to go to Port 0. If you want to change your input device, meaning if you have multiple controllers hooked up to your computer and you need to select the one that you want to use, you'll scroll through these options right here, and then go to Customize Binds. On this screen, you can assign the buttons from your controller to the emulator. So to change the A button, you'd click on the A button thing right here. And then on your controller, you'd hit the button that you'd like to be the A button. And you do that for all these that are on this menu, except for exit emulator, unless you'd like to do that one. After that, you can go to video and you can change it from being full screen or not. You can change the aspect ratio and then you can go to polygon sort accuracy. It starts you out on per triangle but if you have a strong enough computer i'd suggest going all the way up to per pixel 64 layers it really makes a difference on how things look and after that you can go ahead and select a game and play you can double click to make it full screen and you can move the window around by clicking and dragging the box anywhere on the screen so thanks for checking out this video, I hope it helped you out. And if it did, be sure to like and subscribe. I got a bunch of other stuff on emulation on my channel that you might find helpful as well. Thanks for stopping by guys, have a good one.